Hi there, in this video we are going to make lots and lots of lines and make them join up and do cool geometry and sign graph looking things. Also lots of gradients. Alright, let's get started. Okay, to get started open up blending.ai. You don't really need to, all I've got is a happy little whale on the corner there, but you can do it with anything. So first up we need to understand uh, how blending works. Okay, there's a couple little principles to understand and then, then we'll go off and make some really fun stuff. So the first thing is I'm just going to grab the ellipse tool. I'm going to give it a fill of none and a stroke of white, just so I can see it against my dark background here. I'm going to draw a circle holding shift and I want another one. I'm going to copy it and paste it and drag it out. Okay, so I've got two of them. Now all blending does, it says you select two of them and you say I want to join these two. The way you do it is a blending tool over here. So click on this guy. Okay, and you click on, it's best to click on N because you can click on anywhere, but I want to blend that side to that side. So just click once, click twice, and it blends it. And in our case, it's just done one step. To change how many steps are in between these blends, all you need to do is double click the blend tool. Okay, and you've got a couple of options. Smooth color um, will kind of work when you've got different colors between the two circles. Ours are two, uh, both of them are white. I, I can never seem to get smooth color to work for me. The one that you'll use the most is specified steps. Specified distance, well, you can you can say I want them to be exactly four points apart. Okay, so you might decide that. We're going to use this one mostly in this course, specified steps, and let's turn it up to say eight. Okay, and I've turned my preview on, and you can see it kind of joins them up. You'll see because of the widths of my stroke are a little different, it kind of blends them as it goes out. Now this is an active effect, like it's kind of applied the whole time, okay? So you can turn it on and off by going up to object and go to blend, okay? And you can say either expand to kind of stop it doing it and, and give you all those circles, okay? Or you can release it and say go back to how it was, okay? The other thing you might look at is, um, I'm going to undo that is that they're actually still editable shapes. So I'm going to grab the white arrow, I'm going to click on this outside shape here, and a couple of things I can do, I can uh, change the width, okay, and you can see it's kind of updating as it as we work. Okay, you can also start dragging it around, I'm going to grab this side as well, and I don't know what I'm doing, but you get the idea, right? Both inner and outer shapes are editable. You might want to jump to the Command Y, okay, on a Mac, or Control Y on a PC, which is outline mode, okay, just to see Sometimes it's easy just to see it in here, and sometimes if you like, if you type in, we've typed in eight, if you're like, oh, I'm going to type in what it looks like at a thousand, prepare for your computer to roll over and die. Okay, it, it'll handle small numbers fine, but really high numbers, it'll, it'll struggle. So let's have a look at a couple of other fundamentals. Let's put this thing we've made. <laughs> you're going over there, buddy. Mm, never to be seen again. Let's grab this. Uh, why is he white with a stroke? Oh, I had him selected before by accident. Whoops. Okay, so I'm going to give him a fill color of one of these lovely gradients. Um, and I'm getting hit rid of the white stroke. Okay, and we'll bring him in. All right, so um, we're going to blend two fellas. So I'm going to have one guy, I'm going to drag it, hold down Alt on my PC or Option on a Mac and have two copies. Let's look at changing the fill on the second one as well. Pick any of these ones in here. Okay, and the cool thing about blending is that when you've got different colors, it'll do that for you as well. So blending tool, click a point, click the other point, blends them not very excitingly. But if you double click the tool, specified steps, and let's go to say something like 10. Turn preview on. Okay, it'll blend the colors. Now there's two things we'll look at now, is that there's actually a spline that is being created. You can kind of see it there, it's this kind of like light red line, or red line that runs through the middle. Okay, I can click on that and adjust it. That's the, well actually, let's click off. Okay, so this guy's a little group. If I want to adjust them, I gotta double click them to go into isolation mode. Okay, so I'm inside this blend, and I can click on this guy once, and just drag him down, and when I'm ready to come back out, double click, well, click this arrow until it goes away. Now we're out again. This gives me a kind of a clearer understanding of that um, spline. If I grab the white arrow and click on the spline, say this end here, you can kind of see it a bit easier. And you can adjust this guy now a little bit easier than going inside. The other thing you can do is you can edit it. So pen tool, curvature tool, whatever tool you're good at, um, you can start bending that spline. And then you kind of run into, not problems, but you might run into a style or something you want to do where you're like, actually I want that guy to be at front and that guy to be at the back, because it's kind of, yeah, it's working probably the way I want it, but let's test that. With it selected, go to Object and down to Blend. Okay, and this is kind of where all the hardcore stuff gets done. 
um, we want to go the one that says reverse front to back. You can see now this guy's at the front and that guy's at the back. Click off, there you go. Last thing before we get into drawing cool shapes is with it selected, if we go to object and go to blend, and go to blend options, actually probably easy just double clicking the tool. It's this one here that didn't do anything. It doesn't do anything when there's a straight line, but when there's a curved line, okay, turn preview on, you can see it orients itself to the line and kind of moves across. So I like that and I'm gonna change this one back to reverse front to back. <laughs> totally wrecking it. Cool, and um, so let's leave our whale friend, okay, over here, and let's start building some of those kind of nice fancy lines we saw at the beginning there. Uh, so we're gonna only introduce one more kind of idea from that. So let's, um, what you see a lot on is that kind of like sign graph kind of, it's the front cover of an album, man. Uh, I can't think of it, but um, yeah, let's do that. So we're gonna start with squiggly shapes. You can draw your squiggly shapes any way you like. I'm gonna use the pencil tool. Okay, so the pencil tool underneath the shaper tool, um, you could use the pen tool or curvature tool. If you double click the pencil tool and yank up the smoothing and turn off keep selected and fill, uh, make yours look like mine, it just helps your drawing. Okay, now what we want is, I'm gonna, nothing selected, drawing tool. I'm going to have a stroke no fill. My stroke is, I've got gradients in this file. If you're not using my file, you'll have to make your own gradients. And I'm gonna start with this one, looks kinda cool. So I'm just gonna draw a top shape and a bottom shape and it's just a squiggly line. You notice when I let go, can you see it did a nice kind of, it smoothed my lines out. I don't want that curve for no reason other than it works with curves, just I like it without it. Okay, and this bottom one's gonna be more of a zigzaggy kind of one. I've got some zigzags down, more curvy. Let's just see what a point happens. Okay, so I've got these two parts now. Now all I need to do, same as before, like our two whales, is select them both. Okay, and grab my um, curve, uh, sorry, blend tool. Okay, click the two points. You can, like I'm clicking the ones that match, okay, and they join this way. You can, I'm gonna undo and click this one, and the one over here. It does something different, it's trying to flip itself around, and it looks kinda cool. Um, experiment with that afterwards. I'm gonna go for the surefire looks great way. And again, we don't have enough. Okay, so we're going to double click this, go to specified steps, crank it up, 80. Hey, now we're talking. Okay, um, I love it, I'm done. And um, what we can do, uh, first of all, I'm just gonna select this one down the bottom here with my white arrow and open up my stroke, because I want the gradient panel, because what I'd like to do is you, my friend, I would like to kind of flip it over to kind of get that sort of effect. All right, and the the kind of next thing or the extra addition that we're gonna learn here is um, we, the spline, right, is kind of a nice straight line. What we wanna do is actually create our own spline. So I'm gonna move this guy over and you can create anything. You could use a circle, a square. I'm gonna use my pencil tool and draw a thing. Okay, and now when I select these two, you can override that spline. You can say uh, under object, you can go to blend and you can say actually replace this spline, the one that you've made with the one I've drawn. And you end up with bananas craziness, but this is where it gets kind of cool, right? It's kind of three dimensional sign graphy stuff. Um, um, one thing I might do is go and increase the splines. I'm gonna go do that now, play around. There's, yeah, it's a, now you understand the, uh, the kind of fundamentals. What I'd really like you to do is um, experiment, experiment with colors, experiment with shapes, and I'd love to see your experiments, okay? So this is gonna be set as a class project. So come up with as many as you like, okay? At least one, do 20, okay? But I want to see them, okay? So put them up here on the website so everyone else can see, and also share them with me on Instagram and on Twitter. Remember, Instagram is bring your own laptop, and on Twitter, it's Dan Loves Adobe. All right, my friends, go off and make awesome lines that blend together.